Hello, this is just a quick tutorial on how to show you how to change opacity to certain things in Adobe Muse. So, if you're going to draw a square and you're going to have, let's say, say you want to make something look quite standing out on a like a blue background or whatever background you're using. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here and I'm just going to add a some little effects to this quickly just so it makes it a little bit more realistic so let's just say we're made, making a button for instance this is my white button and I want it to look a little bit I want to change the opacity to it so it looks a little bit like a luminous so first off whatever item you're using it doesn't have to be one of these squares but if you want to change the opacity just click on the item itself go to the fill bar here then what you need to do is you need to change the opacity and then you can narrow it down to as much as you want depending on, on the opacity of it now if I just take it about halfway and then come out now you can see that it's the, it's gone a little bit faded so now if I take off the stroke we've got a different opacity there now with all different backgrounds you can get all different kinds of things let me just quickly show you a photo just so you can get a little bit more of an idea of what opacity is for so I've got a roulette wheel here and I want to change the opacity so I go into fill again and then I'll go to opacity and I can make it like that and then I can change like this and that's the effect it has that you can make all different pictures look a little bit different with a different shade of opacity so that's how you change things to different opacities thank you for watching and please subscribe